So in Caracas now, they're marching and protesting four out of the seven days of the week, every other day. The economy's in a free fall here in Venezuela right now. And people are hungry and pissed. This is happening all around our country, not only here in, here in Caracas. And it's across generations and across social income yeah. and, and sectors. So it's, it's a true uh, citizen revolution. Yo quiero pedir un aplauso desde acá, un aplauso a los 13,000 heridos que están en la calle otra vez. So we've been marching for about an hour right now, and you can see everybody going towards the public defender's office. The vibes have been really mellow. It's families, it's kids, grandmothers. But there's also the kind of more hardcore element here, the malandros. They've come into here to government vehicle behind us. They'll probably burn it down later. We are going to go get our gear, our helmets, our gas masks, and flak jackets before we go further because that's where things are going to start getting tougher, as they say. What are these guys doing? These are like the safe wall between the National Guard or the police and the demonstrators. They're building barricades. They're building barricades just to protect civil society from tear gas, from rubber bullets, and whatever the National Guards want to throw to them. They are like the protectors of the demonstrators. We're in the thick of it now. These kids are making Molotov cocktails, they're smashing boulders, making smaller rocks to throw. Tear gas everywhere. There is no fear anymore. This is a citizen's revolution. You can feel it on the street. People aren't afraid, they're ready to fight. Now strolling around Venezuela in my socks. 